Hello, lovely viewers. You're watching Bipolar Opposite. I'm your guy, Tim Cohen. Today, we are going to continue my countdown of my top five favorite teachers. Okay, now we're up to number three, if you can't tell by the title. And my number three favorite teacher is Mrs. Lucida, my high school oceanography and ecology teacher. Well, when the year started, I wasn't actually originally in her class. What happened was, some of you people who've seen enough regular videos of mine know that my grandma died when I was young. Well, not young, I was a teenager when she died. So, I was very close to my grandma, and her death really, really devastated me. So, I was having a hard time with classes, I mean, I'd stopped going, I was just staying in the Oasis classroom doing nothing. Now, for those of you who haven't watched enough videos of mine, which I don't really talk about this regularly, so I'll fill you in. OASIS was a special education program that my high school had, which was for people with things such as mental illness or other d disorders, which was very helpful, and it was not like special education as you would think it was for people who needed more emotional support. So anyway, she was a science teacher of OASIS at the time, and since I wasn't going to class and things weren't going that great, they said, you know, we're going to switch you all to all OASIS classes. And they put me in an alternative of chemistry of Mrs. Lucido's oceanography and ecology classes. Now, am I glad for this? Yes, I did not want to do chemistry. I can't even lay a match. So what good was I going to do in chemistry? I blow up school up or something. So I said, okay, oceanography and ecology sounds good to me. So I went with it. And it was great. I mean, we actually had something very much in common. She was a huge kaiju fan. For those of you who don't know what a kaiju is, it's basically a giant monster, usually Japanese. Uh, so like Godzilla. And she actually had a hanging Mothra. That's right, she had a Mothra hanging from her ceiling. It was really cool. So, we got along with that. So, in between classes, we always talked about Godzilla, which our favorite movies were, and it was really, really cool. For independent reading, their one cl her ecology class, she each assigned us a different book to do an independent report on. I was given Rachel Carson's Silent Spring, which was actually a very fascinating read. Which usually would not seem like my type of book, but hey, I enjoyed it. It was a good project, I got a really good grade on that project. My two favorite projects were the finals that she gave. Because oceanography was the first half of the year, ecology was the second half of the school year. So, I started off with oceanography. And it was a group final project where we had to make a video on great white sharks. Now, we had to do this in groups and individual segments. So, she gave us, for the class, a video camera. And we had to go around and shoot segments about sharks, great white sharks. It was so, so fun. I mean, come on, who can get a project better than that? You have to make a video. I mean, come on, that's a final? That's the most awesome final you can possibly get! We had so much fun. She was just so great with that project. It was so ingenious. So we all worked together as a class. I mean, I have a lake near where I live, so me and this other student, we went there and filmed a part of our video where I was talking about sharks in front of the lake, which we pretended it was actually an ocean, there were actually sharks in there, which, of course, anyone who knows this area knows, we don't get sharks in Continental Village, but... It was close enough, so we did that. I mean, it was just such a fun one. Our, our Shark Witness News video, that was absolutely great, where we had a, one of our students be the girl that lost her arm due to a shark. And we did a whole interview. That was the most fun I've ever had in school. Even more fun than forensics. So it was really great. And our ecology final was, well, my high school had a preschool in it. So our final was to write a children's book. Each we were given in groups of two. Each of us had to make a children's book. So I wrote the story on Niagara Falls. And my partner, she did the illustrations. And finally, we presented it to the kids. That was so fun too. I mean, come on, the kids loved it. They loved our Niagara Falls book. It was just, she was just so creative. It was such a shame she got fired. I don't know why, she was great. I, mean, I learned a lot from her, and I enjoyed her classes, so... Mrs. Cito, Tim Cullen, out. 